again, Brisk Brain Trust. Are you having a blast with these brisk bites? It's probably time to head on over to briskteaching.com and get your certification. Brisk offers two levels of certifications in all of their tools. And if you're starting to build your confidence, now's the time to go get certified. This Brisk Bite is going to focus on teacher exemplars. These are ways that you can show students, hey, here's a great example, here's a okay example, and here's an example that needs a lot more work. Let's dive in. We're on the teacher exemplar tile on our Brisk Tools page, and we're going to click Try It. Brisk opens up a fresh Google Doc for us, as always, and we know that our trusty Brisk extension is down here in the right-hand corner. We're going to go ahead and choose that we want to play with exemplars today. And so what I'm going to do is clear out my standards and other things that are in here, and I'm going to tell Brisk that I am reading The Outsiders with my students. We're examining Robert Frost's poem, Nothing Gold Can Stay, and we're going to be answering the essential question what is this poem even saying and how does it apply to the characters in the novel? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a below expectations, a meets expectations, and an exceeds expectations example of a student response. So I'm going to actually start with the below expectations and I'm going to go ahead and set that for seventh grade for reading The Outsiders. Okay, here we go. We're going to brisk it and this is that below expectations response. So this gives us a little bit of a not so great, kind of surface level, um, needs a lot more going on example. And then the next thing I can do, it's already right here for me in the box, is I can simply click add on meets expectations and I can go ahead and brisk it. And I'm going to give it a moment to generate that for me. There's my meets expectations response, a little bit more beefy, a little bit more information, and as you guessed it, this time I'm going to go for an exceeds expectations example. So I'll go ahead and keep that same prompt there, except this time all I'm changing is my expectations. And I'm going to go ahead and choose brisket. It will generate that for me and then it will give me the exemplar there of a really well-crafted example. Um, and it will let me go ahead and take this document. Now I have three examples that I can share with students. This might be another great opportunity to play with translations for students um, who might be multilingual and need some of that extra support at home. So that is a great way to quickly generate some uh, resources that you can use in class with your students. Hey, we'll see you back here for another Brisk Bite. Thanks for joining us.